Team Familia, welcome back to Mohen TV and you're back with another freaking video. Yes, I'm back with another banger. But before I get to the video, guys, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tune into my previous videos in my channel because if you're not watching me, who are you watching? So today, guys, I'm gonna be cooking, we're gonna be cooking my toke and we're gonna be serving it with avocado. Guys, I know it's really noisy. I'm at home. And we have kids over. We're cooking food for around nine people, so I'm gonna be using a very big souffle. Yeah? So, guys, make sure you enjoy the video. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you leave a comment and subscribe. So, guys, I began by peeling the bananas. And as you know, guys, before you do this, you have to apply some cooking oil on your hands to prevent it from sticking on your fingers and your hands and being extra. Yes, I know at the end of the day, I still had some black spots on my hands, on my palms. But like guys, it was a little bit lesser than usual, right? Yeah, so that was the most difficult part of all of that. And then I guess that was the most difficult part of it. So as I told you guys, I was cooking for a total of nine people. My, my two nephews came over, Lebron and Liam. And also my cousins, she's called Elsie and also Savia. They came over for the Christmas holiday, so I'm preparing a lot of matoke, guys. So I ended up using a total of two onions because I I I know one couldn't be enough. It was a lot of bananas, yeah. So yeah, uh, I chopped the onions into very small pieces because if you know me, you know I do not like onions that are big. Yeah, cooked big onions big cooked onions i really hate them guys so i chopped them into very small pieces and at this time i was crying guys the onions were making me cry i was literally crying crying actually it messed with the video because i was crying for some few minutes and i was like pausing before i got into the to chopping the tomatoes guys i ended up using a total of three tomatoes because i've as i've told you guys i'm cooking for nine people and the matoke it's a really large quantity it's really a, a really large quantity yeah so i chopped the tomatoes into very tiny not very very tiny but i guess they're just medium uh, pieces and yeah i also ended up using ho because um someone commented yesterday i cooked and so I, I used dania people did not like it so much so i ended up using ho for the matoke yeah but you're not going to be able to see me chop it because my camera switched off in the middle of chopping everything my camera just switched off and i was really shocked because i wasn't expecting it so yeah i chopped literally everything that i needed for the cooking and then after that guys i've told you that i'm gonna be using a very big sofaria i heated up the oil then i poured in uh i added in the chopped onions as you can see then i started stirring it yeah yeah that sofuria is not as small as it looks in the camera guys trust me it is a little bit bigger and i'm using our i'm using a muiko this muiko let me tell you this muiko is very old so what i did i didn't throw it away because using a spoon is literally difficult for me i end up leaving the spoon inside the sofuria and it becomes so hot i can't even hold it so i like using that muiko and it's big it can like literally um turn like a big quantity of food when you're cooking then i added the dania the ho ho sorry guys i had added the ho ho inside after that i started i start, i like cooking it with the onions because i don't like it having the bitter taste it's a little bit too much for me because i really am not a fan of spices so i like putting it in like after i have uh, i have added the onions then after that guys i added the tomatoes i told you i use three tomatoes I added in the tomatoes I stirred as you can see the mixture looks like that and then I added the bananas after adding the bananas that's how it looks guys I was just mm, melongering it <laughs> yeah and then after that I added some water waiting for it to cook yeah then as, this, as I was waiting for it to cook I took out two avocados from the fridge I was like let me see how it looks this avocado looks so ugly the top of the avocado looks so ugly but guys i want you guys to be able to see how good it looks inside it looks oh my god it looks so nice let me wait and see mm. 
total greatness i'm even salivating right now guys look at how good that avocado looks guys i mean i can i can literally fall for it huh? <laughs> i know that's weird but like i really love avocados i'm really obsessed if someone brings me avocado as a gift i'll be like thank you so i was talking about this one guys it is so ugly look at it it looks so bad on top but i want you to see the content inside this mofo oh my god guys oh my god it is so 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 good looking yeah so good looking i mean there's no place you're gonna find such good avocados and I'm in Kajado and I have two good avocados. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I took I I was at my grand, grandmother's place like two days ago. I got it from there and they're already ripening. I don't know how fast that happens, but Zisha Eva almost sweaty. And we have to eat them. So yeah. Guys, that is how the avocados that I had chopped were looking. They were looking so nice. And I made some pieces for the kids because I can't do the whole shit for them. I'm tired, right? Yeah. So I want to show you how my meal was looking at the end. Guys, I loved the meal. I enjoyed it so much. With just onions and all of that that I added, I got this. 